My name is Ralph Mayhew. What I'm going to do tonight is I want to take some photos of fire mixed with water. And to do that I'm going to use some lighter fluid and hopefully get some really cool effects. So I thought I'd intro it and then kind of put the camera on what I'm doing. We can learn together. Like most photographic ideas I have, it feels really good in my head. And then you just flesh it out as you start exploring some of the limitations. So the limitations here are obviously um, the fire, but also how you take a photo of fire. So I'm outside, it's been raining, so safety check number one. Um, safety check number two, I have a fire blanket, I'm not going to need that. But I have a fire blanket. Safety check number three, do not do this at home because you saw this video and thought it was cool. I am not going to be responsible for anything that happens outside of this patio. So having said that, um, I am going to jump into it. Let's go. So the first principle for this to work is that I'm going to pour some water into an old glass that I found. I'm not going to use our best glasses because well, Lindell's asleep. She doesn't know I'm doing this. So shh, between us, because I don't think she watches this YouTube channel. So we're all good. And what I'm going to do is pour water into a glass and then I'm going to put some lighter fluid on top and then I'm going to try and set fire to it and see if that works. Because if that doesn't work, then you'll never see this video. I don't know how much time I've got between the two. The other thing I have to do is sort out what my camera settings are going to be. F-stop of 4, ISO of 100 and I've got this uh, this torch and shutter speed is at 60. I think the shutter speed is going to need to go way up but I'm going to need to increase the light to do that. So this is just a test, we're going to see if it works but first of all we're going to see if this catches fire, right? Moment of truth. I would say that is remarkably successful, right? I wonder if I can relight it. Do you think it works like that? Oh, now I'm going to fiddle with my settings, make sure they're tickety boo. I went down to 20 and that worked alright. Now I'm going to go up to 250th of a second and it looks good on here. And that, that is mint. This is very successful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put, get a container and I'm going to pour flaming liquid into this and set fire to everything. All right, so it took a little bit of searching around the house and looking at all these things that I really shouldn't use to set fire to because they belong to my wife. Um, but I found like a coffee plunger and they're meant to have really hot stuff in them, right? So this is, it's gonna be a win. So this is the fluid and I put about this much in. You just, it's not much. And I think because it's an oil, it stays on the sea, the surface and I'm going to set fire this, pour it in, and we're going to see what happens. I've also filled that up with water, it's dripping a little bit, so that, well, safety precaution, right? Check number four. Woo! Here we go. All right, I think I need more lighter fluid. I need more water. The other thing I've done, I put my ISO up to 400, which allows more light, which means I can shoot at 320, the 20th of a second shutter speed for my 4 f-stop, given that it's a full frame camera. So it gives you that extra stop of light that a crop sensor doesn't have. I feel like I'm a bad commercial interviewing the show. It's really stuff getting set on fire. Um, the glass was a little bit warm, so I've let it cool down. I've emptied most of the water out of it. I've refilled that and I'm going to put a more lighter fluid in the top, which hopefully means the lighter fluid then gets dislodged and has like a flaming waterfall effect. So that's the answer. This is looking so epic. Um, as you can see, I just show you those images now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some proper props in, some things I really want to use that should be able to grab hold of this idea that I'm trying to, um, to uh, create, which I'm calling the flaming cocktail. Okay, we're back and I've got some sick props I'm going to use. Cocktail shaker, cocktail glass, a little bit of blue food coloring, um, and this should look really, really cool.
Now, metal is really conducive to heat. So I'm going to go and get a glove to hold that with, just in case. I'm back and I have Lindell's gardening glove, which I think is a really, really bad idea. Can you see it? It's all crispy and hasn't got any grip. I think it used to have grip, but no grip anymore. So if I can't grip it, I'm going to chuck it out. Always good at this point, just before showtime, to check the settings on your camera again. I think I'm going to put it up to ISO 640 and I'm going to drop the shutter speed down to 250. I think that'll go okay. just realized that I don't actually want to crack the glass because I've only got four of them and they're a wedding gift. That was 19 years ago, so that would be bad. See what we came up with. Okay, so as you can see from that image, the camera wasn't in the right place because the glass is much higher. I didn't calculate for that. So I'm gonna tilt the camera up, move it up and shoot wider, which will give me more data to use and work from in the final edit. All right, so I've refocused the shot and I think this is um, looking much better. I've decided to get rid of the blue in the glass because it was just too blue. It looked black against the thing. And then it's important to get focus. So what I do is I go autofocus, I bump up the ISO. So I bump it up to say uh, 3,200 over. So the, the live view can see it. I focus in on what I want and then what I do is I chuck it to manual and I fine tune it so it's exactly at the point I want and I am focusing on just this edge around here um, with the intent to get the fullness of that middle of the glass as the water drops into it. One of the ways to get really good focus manually is actually to um, go manual and then uh, zoom in. Most modern cameras you can press the plus button and it zooms in the live view and then you can tweak it. So it's really good for astro and getting those stars. That's how you do it, right? Um, and then once you've got it all locked in, you um, yeah, zoom out and you're good to go. That is a beautiful shade of blue. I think I need to pour it from a greater height and um, need to get my hand back out the way for two reasons. One, so I don't burn it again, and two, so it doesn't ruin the shot. In fact, one, so it doesn't ruin the shot, and two, so I don't burn it again. Because I've gone higher and wider, I'm gonna increase my ISO, because the wider it is, the further away that looks, and therefore the less in light it is. I've gone from 640 up to 800 and I'm going to drop my shutter speed down to 200. It would be so helpful if I had like three hands. And right now someone says like, I'll come in and help. Well, you should next time. I think everything went really well. Except I forgot to take the photo. That's correct. I forgot to take the photo. Yes! I think now I need to pour it from higher, like here, and make sure I get it in the glass this time. This could be the last one, folks. Wish me luck. I hope you had fun watching that. I hope you were kind of wowed by the result. Again, don't do this unless don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Please um, be safe, be careful. And if you loved it and you want to see more, subscribe below, hit me up with a comment, punch the thumbs up. I'd love to get some encouragement about direction. So if you're thinking this is cool, I'd love to see more of this, then let's do it. Thanks heaps for coming and watching and hanging out with me um, late on a rainy night with fire. See ya.